Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series, where I go through every baseball team's top 30 prospect lists via MLB.com and discuss where they were drafted, where they are now, their big league ETAs, and those that are top 100 overall prospects get comparisons. And now up is the Houston Astros. Their top prospect is... Forrest Whitley. He is a righty, number nine overall prospect. 2016 first round pick by the Astros, currently in AAA, ETA's 2019. He reminds me of former big league pitcher Josh Johnson, who was a Marlin. He was a Blue Jay. And when he was in his prime, he was this dominant pitcher. And that's what Forrest Whitley reminds me of. Currently in AAA, seven games, four starts, 0-2 at an ugly 10.48 ERA, 22 and a third innings, 28 strikeouts, 29 hits, seven homers given up, 12 walks, hitters hitting 322 off of him, not great. Maybe he's just bored in AAA. Number two, Kyle Tucker, the number 13 overall prospect, outfielder, 2015 first round pick by the Astros, currently in AAA, is ETA, 2019. My comparison for him is Daryl Strawberry because he's a lefty and has a really nice swing. He was in the big leagues for a little while last year, but didn't look right and didn't look ready, obviously. 38 games in AAA, 11 homers, 27 RBIs, 38 strikeouts, 14 walks, hitting 245. The power's there, but the average isn't. Three, Jordan Alvarez, the number 26 overall prospect, outfielder, 2016 international free agent signing by the Dodgers. He came over in the Josh Fields trade in 2016, currently in Triple A's ETS 2019. My comparison for him because he's a power hitter, somebody that can play both the outfield and at first base, Joey Gallo. Currently in AAA in 39 games, 18 homers, 55 RBIs, 38 strikeouts, 23 walks. Hitting 411. My goodness. For Corbin Martin, number 58 overall prospect, the righty 2017 second round pick by the Astros, currently in the big leagues. CTA is this year. He reminds me of Mike Montgomery of the Chicago Cubs because he's somebody that is capable of starting and coming out of the bullpen. Before his big league promotion in AAA. In five games and four starts, 1-1 one one with a 1.48 ERA, 24 and a third innings, 28 strikeouts, 11 walks, 14 hits, gave up one homer. Hitters hitting 173 off of him. In two starts in the big leagues, 1-0 with a 3.86, 9 and one third innings, 8 hits, 2 homers given up, 5 walks, 9 strikeouts, hitters hitting 229 off of him. So this guy could be an impact guy for the Astros this year. Number 5, J.P. Bukowskis. The number 85 overall prospect, the righty, 2017 first round pick by the Astros, currently in double A's, ETA's 2020. My comparison for him is Sonny Gray. Because, like Gray, he was a righty and is somebody that can put it together and look like an ace one day and look like a below average pitcher another. And other days, he could just look average. And that's, to me, what Sonny Gray is. Double A, 0-3 at the 6.9 ERA, 5 starts in 8 games, 1 save, 30 innings, 35 strikeouts, 29 hits, 22 walks, 2 homers given up, hitters hitting 257 off him, so not great numbers for J.P. Buscasis. Their number six prospect is for Dios Nova. He's a shortstop. International free agent signing in 2016 by the Astros. Currently in rookie ball. ETA is 2022. He has not played yet this season. Their number seven prospect is Brian Abreu, a righty. 2013 international free agent signing by the Astros. Currently in double A's. ETA is 2021. Right now in double A in... Four games, two starts, 1-1 one one with a 
ERA, 14 innings, 8 hits, 17 strikeouts, 10 walks, 4 homers given up, hitters hitting 170 off him. In advance day before his promotion, 3 games and 3 starts, obviously. 3.6 ADRA, 1-0, 14 and 2 thirds innings, 25 strikeouts, 6 walks, 9 hits, 2 homers given up, hitters hit 176 off him. So, maybe it's just luck in terms of the not-so-great ERA to go with his solid strikeout numbers and hitters hitting against numbers. Their number eight prospect is Siano Perez, a lefty, 2016 international free agent signing by the Astros, currently in AAA. His ETA is in this year, 2019. Currently in AAA, eight games, seven starts with a 6.51 ERA, 27 and two-thirds innings, 33 hits, four homers, 25 strikeouts, 18 walks, hitters hitting 306 off of him, not great. Nine. Seth Beer, outfielder, first baseman, 2018 first round pick by the Astros, currently in double A's ETA is in 2020. In advanced day before the promotion in 35 games, 9 homers and 34 RBIs, 30 strikeouts, 14 walks, hit 328. Double A in 3 games so far, hitting 444 with 1 homer and 3 RBIs and 2 walks and 3 strikeouts. Unbelievable. 10, Peter Solomon, a righty, 2017 fourth-round pick by the Astros, currently in advanced day and on the injured list. His ETA is 2020. Numbers right now in advanced day before the injury. Two starts with a 2.35 VRA, seven and two-thirds inning, seven hits, gave up a homer and a walk, 14 strikeouts, hitting 241, or I should say hitters hitting 221. 11, Ronnie Dawson, outfielder. 2016 second round pick by the Astros, currently in double A's. ETA is 2020. Right now in double A, in 37 games. Six homers, 20 RBI, seven, I'm sorry, 47 strikeouts, 16 walks, hitting 238. 12, Garrett Stubbs, a catcher. 2015 8th round pick by the Astros, currently in AAA ZTAs this year. His stats in 24 games in AAA, 3 homers, 5 RBIs, 11 walks, hitting 247. 13, Brandon Bielak, a righty, 2017 11th round pick by the Astros, currently in AA, ZTAs 2020. Bielak's numbers in AA, 2 0 at the 4.2 ERA. Seven games, five starts, 30 innings, 27 hits, three homers given up, 13 walks, 24 strikeouts, hitting 239, hitting in terms of uh, hitters, opponents, I should say. 14, Miles Straw, outfielder shortstop, 2015 12th round pick by the Astros, currently in AAA ZTA is this year. He was actually up last year at the end of the year. He had a September call-up. 38 games in AAA, one homer, 15 RBIs, hitting 308. Not bad. 15, Tyler Ivey, 2017 third round pick by the Astros, currently in AA, as ETA is 2020. AA numbers as of right now 3 0, the 0.72 ERA, four starts, six games, 25 innings, 12 hits, a home run, nine walks, 37 strikeouts, hitters hitting 138 off of him. That looks pretty good. 16, Jason Schroeder, a righty, 2018 second round pick by the Astros. He's currently in rookie ball. ETA 2022 has not played yet this year. 17, Jero Solis, righty, 2016 international free agent signing by the Astros, currently on the injured list, recovering from Tommy John surgery. He's ETA 2022. He obviously has not pitched yet this season. 18, Dean Dietz, a righty, 2014 11th round pick by the Astros, currently in AAA on the IL. ETA this year before the injury in 10 games out of the bullpen. 2 0 with an 8.53 year right. 12 and 2 thirds innings, 14 hits, 5 home runs given up, 14 walks, 21 strikeouts, hitters hit 286 off of him. 19, Luis Santana, second baseman, 2017 international free agent signing by the Mets. He came over in the JD Davis trade this past winter, currently in short A's, ETA 2022. Short A has not started yet. 20, J.J. Matchevich, 
First baseman outfielder, 2017 competitive balance B round pick by the Astros, currently on the restricted list due to PED use. He was in AA before the suspension. His ETA is 2020. His stats before the suspension, 19 games, 2 homers, 7 RBI, 6 walks, 29 strikeouts, hit 240. 21, Abraham Toto, third baseman, 2016 fifth-round pick by the Astros, currently in double A's, ETA is 2020. Double A numbers in 39 games, 7 homers, 32 RBI's, hitting 299. Very good. 22, Rogelio Armento, so righty. 2014 international phrase signing by the Astros, currently in triple A's, ETA is this year. His AAA numbers, 1-3 with the 5.55 VRA, 6 starts, 7 games, 24 in the third innings, 29 hits, 4 home runs given up, 9 walks, 27 strikeouts, hit, hitters hitting 296 off of him. 23, Jonathan Araz, middle infielder. 2014 international frame signing by the Phillies. He was a throw-in in the Ken Giles-Vince Velasquez trade back in 2014. Currently advanced day, his ETA is 2021. His numbers, 36 games, 2 homers, and 16 RBIs, hitting 220. 24, Diori Carrasco, middle infielder, 2016 international free agent signing by the Astros, currently in short A. His ETA is 2022. He has not played yet this year. 25, Jeremy Pena. 2018 third round pick by the Astros, currently in A-ball. ETA is 2021. In 37 games, 3 homers, 22 RBIs, 35 strikeouts, hitting 261. 26, Anoli Paredes, a right-handed pitcher. 2015 international free agent signing by the Astros, currently in advanced A. His ETA is 2021. His advanced A numbers, 3-1 to 1.86 ERA. 7 games, 4 starts. 29 innings, 41 strikeouts, 18 walks, 15 hits, 2 homers given up. Hitters hitting 149 off of him. That's pretty good. 27, Alex McKenna, outfielder, 2018 fourth round pick by the Astros, currently in A ball, is on the IL. ETA 2021 before the injury in AAA, or I'm sorry, in single A. What am I saying? Five games, didn't have a homer, but had three RBIs and hit 294. 28, Ross Aldoff, outfielder, 2018 12th round pick by the Mets, currently in Eddie Ball. He came over in the J.D. Davis trade. ETA 2021. 34 games, 2 homers, 11 RBIs, hitting 132. Oof. 29, Christian Javier, a righty, 2015 international franchise signing by the Astros, currently in double A's ETA 2020. His double-A numbers, not great. On one with an ugly ERA of 18, just one game. Two innings for it, gave up a homer and four walks, no strikeouts. Hitters hit 444 off of him in the lone game. The seven games in advanced day, including five starts, 2-0 with an 0.94 ERA, got a save. 28 and two-thirds innings, 40 strikeouts, 15 hits. One homer given up, 16 walks, hitters hit 147 off of him. Maybe he turns it around in double A after the bad start. 30, Jose Hernandez, your quitty, a righty, 2015 international freedom signing by the Astros, currently in AAA, ZTA, 2021. I bet he's up before that. In double A before his promotion, 2-2 two and two with a 4.09 ERA. Six starts, seven games, 33 innings, 28 hits, 40 strikeouts, two homers, five walks, hitters hit 222 off him in Triple A, 5.4 ERA in one start, hitters hit 238 off of him, eight strikeouts in five innings, five hits, two were runs, or home runs, I should say, give it up. So, not a great from an ERA standpoint, but from a hitter's average standpoint, not bad. So maybe he's up in 2020 rather than 2021. But it's the Astros' call, not my own. The most untouchable prospect in this system, in my mind, is Forrest Whitley. Why Forrest Whitley? Because Garrett Cole's a free agent after the year. Yes, they extended Verlander, but Verlander is somebody that 
will eventually decline and show his age. We don't know what Lance McCullers Jr. is going to look like coming off of Tommy John surgery. Wade Miley's a one-year guy. So, there's not much guarantees in the Astros rotation. And Whitley, to me, is somebody that they have to keep by all costs. Most likely to be traded, I'm going to say J.B. Bukoskis because he is a little inconsistent and they, I think they like Whitley better. I think they love Corbin Marvin. And I think that if they wanted to trade somebody, I'm going to say it's Bukowskis. And an impact guy, I think, will be Jordan Alvarez. I think he'll be up. And I think that there's a chance that he makes a second half impact as a rookie. Similar to a lot of guys we've seen. Like, although Acuna didn't get called up by the Braves in the second half of the season, he got called up in May, but he had an immediate impact. So I could see him coming up in the second half and immediately contributing to this team and making a late push perhaps for the American League Rookie of the Year. Next up is the Kansas City Royals.